Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today's card is possibly one of my most favorites that I've done recently, but also may have taken the longest because there is a lot of coloring on it. Today I'm using a new stamp set for Mama Elephant. I'm also uh, hopping along at my blog in celebration of their anniversary. So this is their Mama Elephant Stampede, that's what they call it. And so you'll wanna head over to my blog so you can click along to all the other blogs that are in the hop today. Um, but this stamp set that I'm using is called, let's see, what is it called? I have it right here. Oh, kitty tree. Oh my gosh, it's so adorable. You're gonna see lots of it in this video, so I need to show it to you now, but it's a great one. It's a great opportunity for coloring, especially if you love cats, and you all know I do. So this is right up my alley. So let's get into it and see all of that coloring. Okay, can we just talk about how cute this stamp set is? Oh my word, you guys know I love cats. This is a cat Christmas tree stamp. This is so cute. This is called Oh Kitty Tree from Mama Elephant and I am so excited to be using this today. It's so adorable, all those little itty bitty cats. So there's a ton of coloring on this card. I'm jumping right into it. I've had to speed up the video because it took me over an hour, hour and 20 minutes just to color this one image. So it is not for the faint at heart. Um, it's pretty daunting. But, you know, take your time. In fact, I considered, you know, coloring this in maybe 10 minute increments throughout a day. I did end up just powering through and finishing it all. But I did want to show you basically one example of each color scheme for each cat. So um, you notice I've got a couple different silver tabbies. Those are my two cats, Sophie and Daphne. I only showed you how to color one and I have the colors of my markers off to the side of the screen. Um, this one I'm coloring right now is my friend Christie's cat. His name is Albie. And um, I, I did that one kind of flame point cat. And now I'm doing some brown tabbies. Um, these are actually Maine Coon cats. There's two of them in this stack of cats. And those are my brother's cats, um, Padme and Starbuck. And then this cat, um, I just Googled. I wanted some different colors of cats. So there's a few different cats in here. Um, don't want to forget Manny up there with the half of the black face. Um, just so cute. It's it, it would be really fun to paint or well paint or color a few of these and then put them on cards and send them to people who have cats and make sure that their cat is on here. I think that would be super fun. So I did want to mention um, what you did not see before I started was me stamping this image on white cardstock. This cardstock is Nina Classic Crest Solar White. And the ink I used today is Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. Uh, it's a great ink for Copic coloring. So I'm coloring all these different elements, all the little ornaments, the hats, um, all that. I'm going to color the little mouse here in a minute because that's one the mouse and the bird actually. Those are kind of the last two little critters that aren't colored in here. And then I started to wonder about the background. Do I, did I want to keep it completely white? Did I want to just add some ground? I really wasn't entirely sure. And then I decided to do a dark background. This is kind of a, a dark tealish color and it's BG75 Abyss Green and I decided to use this color because it would really make all the cats pop. A lot of the cats are lighter shades of gray and I thought the, those really light gray cats against a, like a dark teal background would look really really neat. So I'm using the chisel end of my Copic marker to color all around this. This was a lot of coloring. I'm just telling you that. It was a lot of coloring. I think I might have been better off just cutting this out, fussy cutting it out, and then popping on top of some cardstock because it was some intense coloring. But I like how it turned out and I liked that I could kind of pick this color. I don't know that I have a cardstock that this that is this particular color, so I kind of like that aspect of it. After I had colored in all of this dark teal shade, I decided that I did want to distinguish the ground that these cats were sitting on. So instead of just leaving it all as one big solid background color, I brought in a dark navy blue and added that into the very bottom section so that it would create the ground that these cats are standing on. So I'm just finishing up that teal and I'm gonna bring in B99 Agate or agate, I guess, I think it's agate, but um, 
I'm adding this dark navy mostly because I knew this darker color would kind of cancel out that dark teal shade and also I thought it went well with it with the blue uh, pops of blue that are on the coloring already. So to add a little bit of interest to this flat, very flat, dark teal background, I took my Copic Colorless Blender marker and this colorless blender basically like pushes away color. So I was able to add little specks of, uh, I don't know what you would call it. I sort of think it kind of looks like magic. <laughs> little um, floaties out in the around this Christmas tree of cats. And I thought it was just a good detail to add. So I'm going to work on putting this card together now. I've got some Nina Classic Crest Solo White cardstock. This is the 110 pound version. And I'm creating a side folding portrait card. And that's because I'm going to have a layer of vellum on the very front of the card. Um, I'm first going to assemble the main card. So I'm going to adhere my coloring piece to the front of this card base. And then I've got some really heavy vellum. This is actually from Clear Print. It's a 48 pound vellum, and I don't think I've ever seen vellum quite this heavy before. I picked up this pad of vellum when I was in Bermuda um, back in May, and this is my first chance kind of breaking it out, and it's super thick. I thought it would work well for my idea today. So what I'm planning to do is take a circle die and cut out a circle window so you mainly see this circle of all just these cats and then behind it is the actual image of the cats forming a Christmas tree. So at first I thought I would have the vellum piece um, almost act like another sleeve, like a book sleeve around that uh, front of the card but then I eventually cut it down but this part that you're seeing right here is where I'm stamping the circular sentiment around the die cut circle window and as you can see I'm sort of struggling kind of manipulating this very straight stamp around a circular die so this is eventually what I did I got the sentiment down onto the door of the misty and I was just having issues with the, the tail ends not kind of really curving around that circle die. So after I had it on my door of my Misty, I was able to then really press that down and it stayed in place. So I'm using the same die that I used to cut the vellum piece. And because that circle die has the cut line on the inside of the circle, the outside edge of the die is just a little bit away from where it was cut. So it was the perfect guide for like wrapping that greeting stamp around the die. This stamp is actually from the same stamp set and I thought the greeting was perfect for this particular card with all of those cats. So I've prepped my vellum with an anti-static powder tool and um, then I used some Versamark ink just to stamp those words down onto the, the vellum. Coating it with some white embossing powder. This is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And then I used my heat tool to melt the embossing powder. And when you're embossing over, or heat embossing over vellum, just make sure to keep your heat tool moving so it doesn't stay in one spot too long. That will help prevent warping. So I cut down the vellum piece because I realized that my die cut circle was a little bit off center and it was really bugging me. So I decided to make this work that I would add a little uh, folding element around the fold of the card that would allow me to adhere the vellum over top. So I'm wrapping this card stock around the fold of the card and then I added some additional adhesive on the top of my vellum piece and then I just pressed that folded piece down and then I have my vellum front cover of my card. And in order to cover up that kind of white folding piece, I use some gold washi tape. I think this is washi tape. It might actually be gold tissue tape from Tim Holtz. I don't recall. I just have all my washi tapes in one big container and I have no idea where they're from. So I'm so sorry I can't like link this for you. I think it might be um, some gold tissue tape from Tim Holtz. I'll go ahead and link to some gold washi tapes down below in the supply section if you want to check that out. So my vellum piece was a little bit wider than my card front. I did that on purpose because it was originally going to wrap around the card and I wanted to make sure that those edges were lined up really well. So I used my craft knife just to cut off the excess. And then I put some more of that gold tape on the inside of the card and that just, or on the inside of the front cover of the card and that just disguises anywhere 
where I adhered pieces together. So this is the card for today. All in all, this card took me about three hours to complete. This was definitely a labor of love, but I absolutely adore how it turned out. I hope you guys enjoy this cute kitty card as well. That card turned out so dang cute. I think it was worth the three hours that I spent coloring on it because it's so cute. I love it. I think I want to color a few more of these. Is that crazy? On screen right now are two more videos for to check out. I'm gonna link to some videos um, that have mom elephant cats in them. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any future videos. The holiday card series is coming up. I don't want you to miss it. So make sure you have your notifications on. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in another video very soon.